Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I'm your host, Valder Beebe. You know, it's my job, especially on a Monday morning, to get the best people to give you the best information. And I've got Ask Dr. V. She's here to tell us how to stay healthy this time of year. Dr. V, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Oh, Valder, it's so great to hear your voice. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I want you to help my audience because there's they, they get a free health check with you today. <laughs> you guys, you don't have to spend any money. You just have to spend some uh, capital called listening today. Dr. V is going to give us some things to uh, do a health check. Let's start with mask control, Dr. V. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're 100% right. Like, we're wearing them every day. And we are now experiencing cooler temperatures, right? And we can't be outside and taking that mask off as much as we like to. So now we're gonna be indoors more and possibly around more people. So it's gonna really increase our chance of being around people who are sick. Um, and so I just want us all, as we're probably entering into this now fourth quarter of 2020, to remember social distance, wash your hands, and please wear your mask. I know it can be uncomfortable, but it's really, it's gonna, it's gonna make an impact to even keep you healthy from the common cold and the flu. All right, then. I can't think of a better way. You got a whole bunch of uh, accolades to do this. All right. <laughs> Tell me about cleansing your skin because that's really important. It is. You know, it's important that because we're wearing masks that we need to definitely make sure that we have a good skin regimen. Um, and we want to make sure that we're, we're definitely taking time to hydrate our skin. Um, and what I've actually been finding as patients have been coming into the office lately is that they've been spending more time indoors. So they look at their face and they're just shocked like, wow, I, I feel, don't feel as like plumped and kind of, um, you know, refreshed as I have been. And some of that actually can be due to your lighting. You might be your regular fabulous self, but you're not realizing it because of your lighting. And it sounds, it sounds crazy, but it's true. But not all LEDs are created equal. So it's really important when you shop for bulbs that you look for the Philips Eye Comfort product label on the packaging to see if your bulb meets the quality standards that other lighting bulbs has. I love the Philips Eye Comfort uh, bulbs because they, they control that flicker and strobe and glare that you can have. Um, and so you're going to definitely see the difference and have a little bit more eye comfort. And it's going to be more comfortable on your body and your health. Uh, you're so right on that. I use lighting every day. I can look yes. older or younger depending on that lighting. It's Dr. so true. B. It's so true. You are so right. Makes okay, let's talk a little bit about supplements because and vitamins because, you know, uh, people just go to the store and buy supplements, and I don't think that's the way. I think you need a plan, right? You're exactly right. I mean, there's tons out there. It's really overwhelming when you go into the store and you're, or you're online looking. So some of the things that I think are must-haves this season for your medicine cabinet. Okay, it's cold and flu season. Let's be real. Besides COVID, it's cold and flu. What kit should you have for your family to make sure that you guys stay healthy? A natural remedy like Boron's Cold Camp. I recommend it because it works at the first sign of a cold to relieve sneezing, runny nose, nasal congestion, and that sore throat pain. And you can use it on anybody in your family ages three and up. Love that one. Be also because it does not interact with other medications. And then don't forget, Valder, that you need to get good sleep, right? I mean, your vitamins are only as good as the amount of sleep that you're getting. So please make sure to pick up the Sugar Bear Sleep Gummies. I recommend that to my patients because they're vegan, non-habit forming, and they're free of artificial sweeteners. They have melatonin in them, and they help you fall asleep and wake up feeling refreshed. So you're going to definitely get good quality sleep, and again, they're non-habit forming. And then of course, we did kind of touch a little earlier on how to keep your skin glowing in this winter season, but that really starts with a good skincare regimen. So I recommend an effective cleanser that has 4% benzoyl peroxide, like the CeraVe Acne Foaming Face cream cleanser. I recommend it to my patients because it also has ceramides in it to maintain that skin barrier. So if you've got a mask on, you're still going to allow your skin to heal while helping to prevent acne breakouts. Okay, those are some great recommendations. I've got to ask you about the sleep. Mm -hmm. What is the recommended amount of sleep for adults and for kids, if you know? Oh, gosh, so good question. You know, kids need a lot of sleep. And these days, now that they're in front of those iPads and other devices, you know, they're falling asleep with them in their hands, right? And so kids really do need about like 10 hours plus of sleep. 
you and I probably get by on like four or five, right? But really you need to have like good REM uh, sleep. And so it's a little bit different for everybody. Some people are no good without eight hours and some people feel groggy if they get more than five. So now that you have a smartphone, I'm sure everybody has one, it's not a bad idea to download an app that can actually gauge your quality of sleep because that way it's going to be personalized for you. But I recommend to people now that there's less sunlight and you know more, more like winter kind of time that you just, if your body's asleep, if you're, if you're sleepy, go ahead and shut it down early, you know, and make sure to turn off all of your um, devices at least half an hour before you go to bed. Don't fall asleep with the TV watching you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good one. That, Dr. B, I want my audience to know, is a practicing physician at John Hopkins. You know, you've seen her on Dr. Oz, CNN, to Today Show, but I think she's my favorite when she appears on the Valder BB show. Dr. B, all of this information, is it wrapped up somewhere where well, my audience can go on the web and find out more? Absolutely, Valder. Please check out tipsontv.com for all of our fall wellness tips we discussed today. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Valder BB show and starting my audience off on a great week, Dr. B. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.